Welcome to Telford Ice Rink. Behind me, warming up the MK Lightning. Now, last Saturday, when Telford took the trip down to Milton Keynes, they got their first win of the season. Can this be their first four-point weekend? Let's find out. And find out what assistant coach Carl Creamer thinks is in store for the game. Um, good performance last night. Um, credit to them, they dominated the second period. But you know what? We took it to overtime. Pretty exciting as far as penalty shootout. And it boiled down to who wanted it most. It wasn't the best games of hockey I've ever watched, but hey, we got the points and it doesn't matter how. Fantastic, and carrying on the overtime winning streak from last year, where we were uh, like the best team on overtime. I think we're, that's it, 8 no or something like that now. Um, so, unblemished record there. Still close to the wire, you know, nail biting, it boils down to best, who's got the best goalie in the end of the day, and last night we had the best goalie. Um, so it's great to come away with some reward. One point would have been not great, two points was really good. Fantastic, and then moving on to tonight's game, another tough game, what are you, what are you expecting from the game? Well, we, uh, we've had a good week in practice, Tuesday, Thursday, we worked on quite a few things. Off the back of last night's win, we've just got to give it our best, eh? All due respect to Milton Keynes, they're a good team, but we can win. Guys have got to start believing in themselves. They've got to show up, they've got to put the efforts in. I'm going to quote a cliche, it's only in the dictionary, that success comes before work. And we've just got to work our backsides off tonight. And you know what? We can do it. Start believing in ourselves. Start remembering how good it feels to win a hockey game. And Milton Keynes had a tough game last night. What are you expecting from them in tonight's game? Last night, last week, last season, Milton Keynes, you have to expect that they're going to come out. They're a good team. They're a professional outfit. Well coached. Got some good players. Hey, but well, we're not going to show them too much respect. I see the team for the Milton Keynes Lightning wearing number 8, Baz Ellison, wearing 9, Brando Pearson, wearing 18, Adam Carr, wearing 19, Lee Jameson, wearing 21, Ross Green, wearing 25, Adam Carr, wearing 26, Adam Riddle, wearing 27, Nicky Chin, wearing 20. I see the team for the Tiller House Top of Tigers, wearing number 3, Marcus Maynard, wearing number 7, Joe Henry. Sponsored by GTS Couriers, wearing number 8, sponsored by Global Bingo Gunners and Brian Selwood, wearing number 14, sponsored by AEA Cleaning Experience, Thomas Yannick, wearing 16, Jordan Bandon, wearing 18, Elliot Good evening, welcome to South Lodging for tonight's ice hockey action. The MK Lightning against the TRS Telford Tigers. Last time they faced each other at Milton Keynes, the Tigers came away with a win. Looking for their first home win of the season and a four point weekend. It's Maynard, up to the red line, dumps it in. Goes all the way. Chris Lizzie is putting tight up to Chin on the blue line. Chin goes into the corner. Yannick battles for it, sends it over the top, it goes into neutral ice. Adam Taylor's in pursuit. Gets banked off the boards, into neutral ice now. And McPherson makes the skate. Looks like he's got tired legs as he drifts into the corner. Wiggins, back of the net, tries for the wraparound. Hits the body of Declan Ryan, takes a deflection from his face mask. So it'll be an automatic stoppage in play. If the puck hits the goalkeeper's helmet, it's an automatic play stoppage. Off the boards. Shot. Rebounds in front of the slot. Green goes for the rebound. It's loose again. It's Yannick that makes the second attempt. So it's three attempts on goal for the Telford Tigers on the power play. A man advantage for a further 10 seconds. Adam Brittle. Makes the blue line with a delay to Wiggins. Big shot over the top, too high. Tigers with a close change, but a good change. Wiggins leans in front of Burrows. Gains the lane and picks up the puck around the back of the net. Green now on the breakout. Sends it back. Yannick, cross ice pass. Give and go. And now Priest lays it off to Burrows. Great passing from Telford. Much better form than last week. The reach in front, puck comes across the front, but there's no stick there to tip it in the back of the net. Driving home towards the net. It's the conversion that they need. Jameson makes the shot. Declan Ryan makes the save. The full line of sight for Declan, so good to come up with that save. Off the draw. Joe Henry. Pass to Chesky, reaches for it, cuts inside, drives between the two MK players, still got the puck, drifts into the corner. The puck does roll back, but the players fell, slid into the net. Chesky was calling for the net, but Brooks definitely waving off in clear position to see it on the goal line, so no goal. Good drive forward, Chesky cuts in front of the two defencemen, battles hard as he drives towards the net, doesn't quite get a stick on it to make the shot, and the players lose their footing, slide into the net, knock it off its moorings.
So second period well and truly underway. So Telford Tigers with the second power play. Last one had some great opportunities. Can they make the conversion to get the first Telford Tigers goal? Here are nice. High slot. Kruzak just puts it slightly to the left. And it's Chesky that gets himself on the score sheet for the TRS Telford Tigers with a power play goal. A lot of work in the corners, we're quite happy for them to stay in the corners all night. They're looking for an opportunity to cut in front. Jamieson cuts in front, bouncing puck, car, Ryan makes a save, it's loose on the floor! There's a battle in front and Declan Ryan gets over the puck and freezes it down. An opportunity on the power play for Milton Keynes there. Down the boards, neutralised. Milton Keynes on the breakaway, Paul Hegman makes a shot and a great stick check there, fantastic piece of back checking. It was Adam Taylor, skated back, used that long reach, went back and just prevented the shot being completed. Magic wand of his. So the final count ends on for the third period of action here at the Telford Ice Rink. 1-0 in favour of the Telford Tigers as we start the third period. The second period, a very strong, good period from the Tigers, passing the puck well, creating opportunities, killing penalties well and getting their first goal on the clock. It was Cheskin that scored the very first goal for the Telford Tigers, making it 1-0. What's going to happen now as we're into the third period of action here at the Telford Ice Rink? On the puck in his defensive zone, tries to find Chesky. A stick list from Zatopic. Dumped in from now. Wiggins back out on the ice. Chesky reads it from oh, and it's a goal from Chesky, the second of the night. The Telford Tigers on the 44 minutes and 57 seconds. A backhanded shot from Chesky. So Telford Tigers cocking up the second goal, courtesy of Chesky. A great backhanded goal. As they're even shredding now, Chesky and Henry on the break. Chesky pulls back, off his foot, kicks forward, goes in! To the bench is to say you're not allowed to sub anymore. Off the draw. In front, Emerson makes a shot, and here's the first fight. Burroughs is going with Calder. It's coming over the top. It's going 50-50. Burroughs is coming in. Burroughs gets him down. They stay up. The Lions going to push him in. First battle of the night. Tim Burroughs winds up with Calder. Go toe to toe in front. Double minors on the cone today. Oh, I'll take that. And what was initial to start it. Calder's complete. Complaining of some form of injury, so whether he's claiming he was tripped or something which then caused the fight, or whether he established an injury in the fight, we'll wait and see. Chin and Bowley battling for position. Final five seconds in the game. Did you say it? And that's the end of the game. It sees the Telford Tigers win 3 0 with all three goals coming from Chesky in the Telford Ice Rink. A very physical game and a fantastic performance by the TRS Telford Tigers. Really proud, really good weekend. Um, you know, two, two tough teams, and uh, we've had a real solid weekend. Two teams that have had a, had a real good start to the season. And, uh, you know, to, to get a shutout, uh, really pleased, really pleased for Dak, really pleased for the team. They worked hard in the game as well. It was a very physical game, pretty end-to-end, -end, and things did seem to click. The passing uh, was good. Yeah, you know, I think 
uh, even last week I thought I felt we worked hard. I didn't think we got the balances. I don't think we were at our best, but that didn't mean that we didn't work hard. I thought we worked hard tonight. We we, we took our opportunities well. Obviously, Yaroslav uh, uh, on the board three times there, and that makes a big difference. But uh, a lot of it comes down to commitment. And I've asked the guys this week through practice and last night before the game and tonight for passion and intensity, and uh, you know a kind of total commitment with a lot of self belief. And if you're willing to put your body on the line for your teammate, then uh, we'll be a far stronger team. And that's something to be very proud of, because as well, when the goal started going the clock, the momentum got greater and greater and greater. Well, it is. You know, we're, we're a young team, and uh, you know, when we do get up, and this has happened before, we get really excited. So I spend a lot of time trying to calm guys down, and I've asked Carl and Tomo to do the same behind the bench. And I think we're learning. You know, th there are games like that where it's good to be excited, but then it's also to make sure that when you're out there the next shift, that you're focused on your job, and uh, because that's what we're there to do. Uh, well, obviously disappointed in the result and our own performance. Uh, credit to Telford, they are workers tonight, they are played us and they deserve the two points, so we're disappointed. And obviously, kind of, it was quite close for, for a lot of the game, I and mean, then there was a kind of a five minute period where it seems to that was, that was where Telford kind of got away from you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it was a close game all the way through, I think. Even, even when we were three goals down, we still, we still thought we had a chance of getting back, but we just weren't good enough tonight. And, uh, yeah, credit to Telford, they, like I said, they outworked us and they deserve the win. So. Alright, so Stefan, is Adam Calder alright? Uh, he's gone to hospital now, so he didn't look in too much of a good way, so hopefully he'll be alright, we'll go and see him in a bit. So that concludes a great performance for the Telford Tigers, what they needed on home ice. Tommy Watkins and Chesky both very proud of their performances, and of course Declan Ryan getting a shutout. Now, can that momentum continue? Next Saturday, the Telford Tigers are at home to Bracknell, who they beat last weekend in overtime, and then this coming Sunday, it's a trip to Peterborough. Now, it was that 7-0 win here at the Telford Ice Week that needs vengeance, so can another four points go on the clock next weekend? Find out with Tigers TV.